Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tuco from Music ID TV, and this is Use the News. So, chances are nine out of ten of us are not actually making as much money as we could be making from the music that we have online. I say us because I am kind of guilty myself for music I released with my group back in the day and not registering them with all the proper entities. But one thing that you can do is register with Song Trust to try to remedy this issue. Now, if you distribute your music digitally, you use TuneCore, you use CD Baby, DistroKid, that's great. Now you're making money from that. That is great. But you're only making a specific type of royalty from that distribution. And that royalty is the sound recording royalty, which is generally administered to the artist and the record label. So you're, the money you're receiving is money due to artists and record labels. But if you write your own music, you are not receiving the proper royalties because there's another percentage that is going to the songwriters and not being collected on your behalf just by doing digital distribution. Mechanical royalties are those royalties which are specifically designated for songwriters and producers. And it's collected by publishing companies. Song Trust kind of works as an intermediate between independent acts and collecting these royalties for you. Harry Fox Agency is a traditional company that used to do this for major labels, but now Song Trust is kind of stepping in in the new environment in the music industry. So they'll collect your mechanical royalties as a songwriter if you write your own songs. So with that being said, you probably want to make sure you do your due diligence and look into Song Trust. And I'm saying Song Trust not because they are the only people out there, but because they specialize in it. CD Baby does have an option to do publishing administration, and so does TuneCore. But CD Baby's publishing administration is kind of done in partnership with Song Trust, so why not just go to the source, in my personal opinion? But it's also open to all, so make sure you sign up for it. There is, however, a $100 one-time registration fee, and they do take a 15% commission on the royalties. Now, that may sound like people are biting into your money, but a traditional publishing deal takes 25% of your publishing or 50% of your publishing percentage, which is 50% of your overall percentage, which turns out to be 25% of your overall percentage. It gets a little crazy. So 15% ain't so bad. And that's usually a deal reserved for major acts in traditional publishing companies. Like if I'm Bon Jovi, I can go to Sony ATV and get an admin deal where they take 10 to 15%. But if I'm a new guy, not gonna happen. They are gonna want half of my publishing. So to wrap this up, I definitely suggest you guys check out Song Trust. Um, if you wanna check out TuneCore and CD Baby, you can do that as well. And, you know, leave your feedback in the comments if you're registered with any of them. If you guys are receiving any money from any of these, let other people know. I mean, we kind of have to let people know what's going on so we can kind of learn from each other. Beyond that, be sure to share with a friend, like, and subscribe for more videos. Make sure you check out Music ID TV too if you want to be in tune with some of these news stories as well. Once again, my name is Tuco from Music ID TV, and this is Use the News. Sign out.